I help people live a happy life. And I do that by helping them finding their purpose because I firmly believe if you find your purpose and if you live your purpose, live on purpose every day, you will be happy. This is a day of a secret agent of the kingdom. <laughs> the morning I woke up super early and I normally have a, a, a slow wake up. So probably 15 minutes, just walk to the bathroom. I do the 5 a.m. thing. So the 5 a.m. Uh, club thing by Robin Sharma. So I'll brush my teeth first thing. So it sends a message to my brain. Then I do my 20, 20, 20 morning. Uh, I believe, you know, if you, if you take over your mornings, you take over your life. So I do 20 minutes of Bible reading and prayer, 20 minutes of normal reading any books. At the moment, I'm reading Mo Gaudat and uh, talking about happiness, by the way. And then I do 20 minutes of just reflecting and journaling. So this is just me sitting in my couch in my office, just my moment, everyone's sleeping. Uh, after that, I normally get changed. Today, I got changed before because I was doing this. Uh, and then it's family time, normally in the morning between seven o'clock to 8.30, it's family time, breakfast, and it's a, it's a mess in my house. Sometimes I do it, sometimes my wife does it, depending on the day. Uh, today, I'm, I'm speaking early in the morning, so we, we took turns. My wife is teaching right in the morning online, so there was a bit of a mess. But, you know, this is us preparing breakfast for the kids, coffee. Uh, it's a beautiful thing in our house. We try to do this every day, but our main meal together is dinner. So not always we get to have breakfast together. There is a bunch of activities, jujitsu, a bunch of other stuff. Then after this, this is just me getting ready to go, getting in the car. I'm heading to a school to speak to a group of students about purpose. Very exciting. I've got a few books, materials, my own book, and then I'm gonna drive for about 20 minutes, get myself a coffee, which is important. And while I get myself a coffee, this is my last time to run through the things that I'm gonna speak at my mini workshop. And this is us in the workshop providing value. There was an hour and a half of pure value. Here are a few things that you may get value out of it too. Me sharing with the students about their identity, their personality, and their purpose. About our identities. Then we only think about those things. You have to think outside the box, okay? You know, people research this all over the world and the most frequently asked question is why? Most importantly, why are you here? Depending they say the you make $20,000 more than your peers if you can articulate your purpose. I'll be happy with $20,000 more every year <laughs> on my account. Most people will forget what you say but they will never forget how you made them feel. It is up to you to define how the world sees you. Because if you don't, they will. Let's cut back to conclude this video and finish this video with a message. Many thoughts. All right, you go. I think this will give you a clear picture of why I do this. This is an opportunity to talk to people about Jesus and about God in their environment. As church people, sometimes we wait for people to come to us, but this is church going to them, disguised as purpose, as Ikigai, as what I do for a living. So when I was there, we I gave them all the tools. We spoke about the personality tests. We spoke about Myers-Briggs, uh, Enneagram. I gave them the diagram for the Ikigai. We had some exercises. And then I said two things. Number one, I said, I believe you guys are unique. Everyone's unique. You were created uh, in wired this way for a purpose. God gave you that purpose. Regardless if you believe it or not, God gave you that purpose. And you could see their eyes just going, like, is this guy gonna talk about God? The main reason why we do this, our secret mission, our hidden mission, our hidden mission is to tell people about Jesus. I showed them a, a picture of a tombstone and what's written on the tombstone in the day of the funeral. Very shocking. And I said to them, you know, my one, I want it written, he showed me Jesus. 75 centimeters. That's it. If that's not a conversation about God, friends, I don't know what is. You know, it's a beautiful thing. I love doing what I'm doing. Again, I'm extremely grateful for you, grateful for your support, your generosity. If you're watching this video and you're not part of our supporting community yet, you can go on my website, pedroonpurpose.live, and you can just choose. You know, if you go pedroonpurpose.live slash partners, you can choose if you just 
want to donate um, a, a little bit of money every month so that helps us continue our journey or you can actually embark on the journey get, consume all the content and, and see all of that it's just two different categories and it helps a lot and i feel like you go with me wherever i go you go with me to this journey so again thank you thank you for providing me with the opportunity to do what i do today you know today we changed lives today we touched the lives i won't say we changed the lives but today we touched the lives of 25 students and they will be marked for life because of what we did together this morning it was only one hour and a half but that could be the turning point, the first step to a massive change in their lives. And that's all because of your generosity. So I'm really, really, really thankful for your partnership. God bless you. Have a great day. See you soon.